Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. A version of this problem was an interview question for admission to Oxford University. A prize is placed under one of five objects. Shilpa is privately told the shape of the object, and Colin is privately told the color of the object. Shilpa and Colin are mathematicians who use perfect logical reasoning, and the initial setup is common knowledge. The host asks, do either of you know where the prize is? Both of them are silent. The host then asks, do you know now? Again, they are both silent. Finally, the host asks, do you know now? Shilpa and Colin simultaneously say yes. The question is, where is the prize? I think the puzzle author, Professor Joel David Hampkins, and I saw this problem via Alex Bellos' puzzle column on The Guardian. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So how can we solve this problem? Shilpa was privately told the shape of the object. If she was told triangle, she would know it's either the green triangle or the blue triangle. If instead she was told circle, then she would have known it was the yellow circle or the green circle. If she was told square, then she would have known it was the blue square. Similarly, Colin was privately told the color of the object. If he was told green, he would know it's either the green triangle or the green circle. If he was told blue, he would know it's either the blue square or the blue triangle. If he was told yellow, then he would have known it was the yellow circle. So let's analyze the first question. The host asked, do you know where the prize is? Both Shilpa and Colin are silent. So what does that mean for each person? Let's analyze Shilpa. If Shilpa had been told square, she would have known the prize is under the blue square. She didn't know this, she was silent. So we can eliminate that Shilpa was initially told square. Now similarly, if Colin had been told the color was yellow initially, then he would have known it's the yellow circle. But Colin was silent, so we can eliminate this. He was not told yellow initially. Now Shilpa has perfect logical reasoning. So she knows that since Colin was silent, he was not told yellow initially. So Shilpa can eliminate the yellow circle as one of her options. Similarly, Colin knows that Shilpa was not told square initially, so he can then eliminate the blue square from his options. So now we go to the second stage of reasoning. Now the host asked, do you know now? Once again, they are both silent. So we can repeat this type of logical reasoning. At this stage, if Shilpa had been told circle initially, the only option would be the green circle. By this stage, she would have known where the prize was. She was again silent, so this is not what she was told initially. Similarly, if Colin had been told blue initially, then by this stage, he would be able to figure out the prize is under the blue triangle. But again, he was silent, so we can eliminate this. He was not told blue initially. So we now go into the final stage of reasoning. The host asks, do you know now? By this point, Shilpa realizes that Colin must have been told green initially, and Colin realizes that Shilpa must have been told triangle initially. Putting that together with their initial information, they both realize, yes, it must be the green triangle. So they both exclaim, yes, I know where the prize is, 
and it's under the green triangle. And that's the answer. What a fun logic puzzle. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.